The Archdiocese of Liverpool has deep-sixed the presence of priests at funerals. A Los Angeles Archbishop is cracking down on a rogue pro-homosexual priest. And the Obama administration continues to see widespread violence across the Middle East. All that and more coming up on today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. Hello everyone and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Calgary Bishop fights lawsuit. The Bishop of Calgary is not backing down, though under threat of a lawsuit if he does not mandate the children in his diocesan schools to be vaccinated for human papillomavirus. The lobby group HPV Calgary is threatening to sue Bishop Fred Henry, even though the government program they want diocesan schools to accept is not one mandatory under law prompting the bishop to question their chances of being successful in their litigation. Bishop Henry emphasizes, quote, the availability of the vaccination is not the issue as it is readily available in multiple venues. We are providing all the information to parents to make an informed choice and far from being a denial of rights, our approach is an affirmation of parents' rights, end quote. The school board has no intention to change their current policy and the bishop says implementation of such a program would also undermine efforts to teach children about abstinence and chastity. Archbishop suspends pro-homosexual priest. A priest who co-founded Catholics for Equality is being suspended by his bishop after he publicly advocated for homosexuality while wearing his Roman collar. The priest, Reverend Joseph Palacios, was on record saying... The church's faithful are the key to shifting the culture in favor of homosexuality, and the denominations are already lined up for homosexuality. The only group that isn't lined up is the Catholics. According to the National Catholic Register, Archbishop Jose Gomez spoke with Palacios, asking him to stop his political peddling or else assume an inactive priestly status. Reverend Palacios heeded the bishop's request, saying, quote, We agreed that I would stay on inactive status as long as I am politically active, end quote. Catholics for Equality is a so-called gay marriage advocacy group for Catholics and was founded in 2010 by Palacios. Burying priestly duty. Priests are being replaced by lay people at Catholic funerals in the United Kingdom's Archdiocese of Liverpool in what is being touted as an effort to relieve priests from the pressure of having to celebrate seven or more funerals a week, Archbishop Patrick Kelly has commissioned 22 lay ministers to, quote, celebrate funeral ceremonies. The move was announced through a brochure recently published by the Archdiocese of Liverpool, which describes a funeral as, quote, community's main celebration and prayer for the deceased. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, in print and on the web. And RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. Nebraska's new bishop, Auxiliary Bishop James D. Conley, is being named next bishop of the Diocese of Lincoln, Nebraska, one of the most orthodox dioceses in the country. Connolly has served as Auxiliary Bishop of Denver since April of 2008 and is now being named the next Bishop of the Lincoln Diocese, where he will take over for Archbishop Fabian Bruskowitz, considered by many the most Orthodox Bishop in the United States. Before his Episcopal ordination, Connolly served as a priest for 23 years, and he has known Bruskowitz for over 15 years as a personal friend, becoming acquainted while Connolly was in Rome. Regarding his new post, the new bishop said, quote, I have held the Diocese of Lincoln in high esteem. It is rich with vocation, Catholic education, and family life. I am not going to mess around with that, end quote. He also added about his predecessor, quote, Bishop Bruskowitz has been a true champion of the Catholic faith and personal hero of mine for many years. Unequal protest. Violent homosexual activists broke into a hotel in Washington, D.C., protesting against a traditional family event. The Family Research Council's annual Values Voter Summit held this past Saturday was invaded by some six protesters 
who unraveled a large rainbow-colored American flag inside the lobby and began chanting and screaming, quote, your values are killing us. The activists were extremely aggressive and had to be dragged outside by the hotel's security guards. One protester in particular resisted, causing him and some of the security guards to fall to the floor. The protesters identified themselves as the gay rights organization Get Equal. And Muslim violence continues. The wave of Islamic violence in the Middle East continues today with attacks in Afghanistan, Indonesia, and Africa. Hundreds of Muslims in, Af in Afghanistan torched a press club and a government building as demonstrations also turned violent outside a U.S. military base as the mob burned cars and threw rocks after a clash with police that resulted in one death. Meanwhile, in Indonesia, angry mobs marching on the U.S. Embassy in Jakarta hurled firebombs and rocks at police, while demonstrations also took place in other cities throughout the country. Close to the beginning of the international unrest sparked by Islamists last Tuesday, an Egyptian cleric received cheers and applause as he burned a Bible in front of the U.S. Embassy in Cairo, telling the crowd, quote, next time I will urinate on it. 100 Islamists have also ransacked a Catholic church in Niger, mocking a statue of the Blessed Virgin before destroying it and anything else they could find in the church and the school next door. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on churchmilitant.tv. Also be sure to check out The Vortex where Michael talks about Obama Catholics in the election. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you. RealCatholicTV.com has changed its name. We are now ChurchMilitant.tv. New name on the dog tags, same battle plan for the salvation of souls. ChurchMilitant.tv. Join us in combat. Become a premium member today.